Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I think I'm live. Need something? I do need something. Not bad. Um, what's up? What's up, bros? What's up? Let me uh, make sure the quality and everything's right before we really dive into it, though. Yeah, okay, good. So I think everything should be good now. What's up? How's it going? Got some Skyrim Special Edition live. So we're actually going to be checking out the uh, the new Creation Club releases. I have them all installed, or at least I should. And uh, yeah, we're going to go check them out. The problem, or the, one of the only issues is it's not entirely clear what corresponds to what. Um, I know like a house is outside Whiterun. Hello! A lot of people saying hi at the same time. Hi everyone! The Nyx Hound is from Morrowind. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that first, I think, actually. I'm using like an old save. So hopefully all goes well with that. Let's, um... No, I don't... Let's remove my marker. Where is... A little fast travel thingy. Hey, sup people, how you been man? I've been pretty good, pretty good. Got back to my like computer today, which is always fun. Um, where is it telling me to go? Read the notice of sale, oh, duh. So let's see, notice of sale, Nyx Hound. Am I pronouncing that right? Oh yeah, is that like just, uh, is the audio okay? Am I too loud, am I too quiet at any point? Just like at me in the chat. And if you guys have questions in general throughout the stream, just at me in the chat. Hi. Yay, more paid mods. Yay. Uh, to it may concern, in recent years, Nyx Hounds have been slowly repopulating the island of Solslim. I don't know how to pronounce that. Though quite dangerous when encountered in the wild, I've learned to tame them. They make a good pet and can even take some of the uh, load off your back during travels. Currently have one for sale. Please see me if interested. Regards, Revis Sorvani. It's your first time? I remember my first time. You need something? Um... Travel to Solstice. This way? Why is there three? Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, really. Why is there three little markers there? I mean, we could travel to this farm. Where's the Morrowind stuff? Wait, there is Morrowind stuff? I Yeah, I think a bunch of this stuff in this latest Creation Club bundle is from older games. I'm not super well versed on other Elder Scrolls games. Like, I'm not even well versed on Skyrim, so. How many glitches today? Uh, one. Right there. <laughs> We're uh, off to a good start. I don't know why that happens. It, it's, a, it's like a texture error, but I don't know what the deal with that is. Oh, any of these builds can take me there. That's why. Alright, so let's swim. Alright, let's, let's jump off this little pony here. Uh, verbal audio is all good, man. Awesome, thank you. We'll talk to this dude. If you're looking for passage to Solstein, too bad. What happened? I'm uh not going back there any... Surprise. It's an island north, but I'm not going back there. It's hard to explain. The next thing I... There's been something strange going on. Have you been listening to me? Well, talk to Captain Gallon to make a living after <laughs> all. Did he? Paid mods check by with his team. First, second, and sees three markers. Hell yeah! <laughs> it's a valid point, though. A new area? No, this is not a new area. This is, this is, I don't know. This is from a deal, right? This is added by something else, I think. Well, here we are. Welcome to Raven Rock. Just be careful here. Things aren't what they used to be. Uh oh. We just want my next hound. How do you use the new camping gear? Uh, I don't know. We're going to have to figure that one out also. Let me see. I have a, a list. We have the new camping gear, the new backpack, shadow rend, which is a new weapon, uh, the next hound, which we're getting now, and the new home mod. So we're going to get our little companion first. I don't recognize you. So you pick. Just remember. Any questions? Hmm. No. Alright, so let's go find this thing. Where is it? Far away. We're gonna... Cheat. Because I'm not walking all the way over there. 
<laughs> when do you plan on ending the live stream? Uh, when I run out of things to talk about? I don't know. Maybe we'll have a fun live stream. And do some other cool stuff. In addition to Skyrim. I don't know. There it is! What a beaut. <laughs> I love this thing. I don't know why. This is the mud crab. Look on your face. I'm guessing you've never seen a silt strider before. This is Dusty. I personally trained her from a lava. Feels like a lifetime ago now. She hasn't been in trouble. Yeah, these are an Xbox One. A while now. These aren't mods, I'll these are Creation Club the creations. Realm, but she insists on staying here. Um, I might do some comparisons on these, I'm not entirely sure. We get bar trade nods and ends with the locals. Definitely the house mod, because I heard it's really bad. And make sure she passes What's up, Just Dom's show? It's the least I can do for her. Every once in a while, a local makes it out here. Although they usually just want to catch a glimpse of Dusty. Silk Striders are pretty rare now. 400 gold? Take so a look. So this dude just sat here? He's got a little tent. Wait, have a look? What do you mean, have a look? Have a look for what? Oh, mm -hmm. that was weird. That is that a glitch? Come with me. All right, so that's it. That's the little thing. <laughs> what is this? Three dollars? I mean, it's definitely unique looking. Wait, can I ride this thing? Wait a second. Come on, little buddy. Come on. Get in the animal. Again, I don't know much about Skyrim or the older Elder Scrolls games. So we obviously can carry stuff. Um, give me my crown. All my expensive stuff. I mean, it's definitely good looking. <laughs> oh, but is that all he does? Another bug. Yeah, I think that was a bug actually. Alright. Well, I mean, we want to check it out in combat. But uh, let's actually find. Let's go find some combat first. Um, there's. Oh, that's another one. Who sent the cultists? An inner voice telling me I must conform with Darkness within myself. Is this Creation Club? Through a gas darkly? Can anyone tell me? Or through a glass? Or is this just a regular Skyrim quest? I don't know. I'm googling it. It's a film. I think it's a quest. Oh, maybe not. Uh. Yes, it is. Wait, yes, it is what? The Emperor's letter. I think this is another older one. Uh, well, for here, I have to go back anyway. That's modded. It's Creation Club. Alright, cool. Alright, so I think this is the weapon. And then the other three things, there's no quests, I don't think. Oh, this is, um, this was made by Enuctium, apparently. The guy behind, I don't even know what mods Enuctium is made for Skyrim, but the, a lot of cool power armor mods in Fallout 4. Alright, so where are you taking me? The East March Geysers. Um, I would pay $50 for the stability of the game alone. You kind of did if you bought Skyrim Special Edition. <laughs> that was a more or less $60 mods and uh, 60 Well, this is pretty spooky. I'm getting immersed. Shadow run 12 base damage in oblivion. Well, Enuctium apparently made the quest, so let's see if that's a good thing or not. Oh. 
Wait, that's it. Tell me, is that it? This is the quest. your shadow uh, wait what the f ah go between the shadow wait why is it the Nick's helping me wait I thought I was gonna try and see him in combat does he not fight this guy's not doing anything <laughs> that was difficult uh How many of these things are there? Oh, can you only take one? Oh, so we have to pick. Do, all right, chat. Do we want the sword or do we want the axe? I mean, I guess I could always come back. Target is 15% weaker to magic. Or the sword. Target, okay. So it's the same thing. It does less damage, but I imagine it swings faster. Yeah, this thing didn't help me out at all. So do you not come back? What if I put this thing in your inventory? Then what? Wait a second. Yeah, how does that work? Uh, so we got axe, sword, axe, sword, 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 sword. Uh, seems like sword is definitely in the lead. Alright, so I gave you that. Now what happens if I pick this up? Hey! They're smart. Sword. Alright, so way more sword. People want the sword. I'm gonna give you what you wanna see. Only on Juicehead's channel do you get that kind of treatment. Okay. Alright, cool. So we got this cool sword. Um. I guess we should, like, kill something with it, huh? What is that? Oh, dragon. Hello. I don't actually know what I even just did. I don't know what shouts I have equipped. So a legendary dragon appears. Uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to hit him with this sword, am I? Oh, am I losing HP? <laughs> Wait, what? I need that armor that like drains health from others. I don't know where uh, he's just flying about. Oh, get him, Shadow Rend! Get him! Yeah, this Nick Hound is uh, not, not buddy buddying me too much. All right, so it's just kind of a you're useless, dude. I still love the way he looks. But all literally, all he does, he just follows me around. Oh, hello. Well, it's gonna make him weaker. Oh, what the hell? What was that? This is gonna make him weaker to uh, magic. Oh, this is the wrong thing. So, let's see. What do we got going on here? Um, destruction. Choking grasp. Oh, we could use some. Don't I have ones that will drain their health? Yeah, like this. Touch of death. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, I don't have enough magicka. Oh, he's dra is he draining magicka for me? I'm in immortal mode, so I won't die. Don't worry. <laughs> I planned ahead. Um, let's see. Do I have a potion? Again, I don't actually know. Potion of minor healing. No. <laughs> I don't need stamina actually. That's not immensely helpful. Well, I would like to be able to shoot you with this, so I guess we'll just go into God mode. Why is this like glitching out? That's weird. I don't know. Alright, we lost to the dragon. Bummer. 
just gonna keep flying about and uh, destroy me. Where did my horse go? Is right over here somewhere? Now wait while enemies are nearby. I just saw it. I mean, I, I can finish him off. I just would prefer not doing it. Take that! Alright, that was easy. <laughs> so is that part of... Like, everything... 666 gold! Was that part of... The DLC? Or is that just a random encounter? Is the Nyx Hound worth it? I mean, you tell me. Yeah, all it does is this. So, he just follows you around and goes... Wait, wait for him to do it. Do it. He goes. Rrr. Yeah, he goes. Rrr, 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 and follows you around. That's literally it. You can put stuff in his inventory, and he looks like this. But he uh, doesn't have any other functionality. So now I believe we have to go. Uh, where's that house? Oh no, I forget. Is it? Is it Windhelm or is it Winterhold? Didn't I put? Oh, I can't remember. Where's that new house? I feel like it's right outside Winterhold. Where's it? Windhelm. Someone help me out here. Is it this? No, it has it such as a T. I feel like it's Winterhold. He looks kind of cute. Yeah, he has a good aesthetic going on. Oh, it's my white. Oh, yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I do is a W. Thank you. Um, White Run. Tundra Homestead. I don't want to fast travel to it. Let's fast travel next to it and walk over. The Tundra Homestead. I find your hand in my pocket. I'm going to. Cut you off. It's such a weird noise, too. Like, I can't even recreate it. I keep trying. So, was it this way? Oh, is that it? It's all glitched. <laughs> this is unrelated. This is another glitch I've been having consistently throughout Skyrim. So, ignore that. That has nothing to do with the home. So, the Tundra Homestead. I don't know why that's happening. But it, I, I keep having that happen. It's like another texture error I'm getting. Again, unrelated. Not a reflection of Eleanor's work. I don't want to get sued. Or I, I just don't want to misconstrue her. I don't think she would sue me. Alright, so we got some sacks. Got some apples. Please, let's be a good house mod. I can always appreciate a good house mod. I mean, the haystacks look pretty good. Well, I guess the way they look. It's a nice little aesthetic set up over here. Um, ignore that. This is it. Yeah, right. Alright, so you got some outdoor crafting. Got the smelter. Got the anvil. Uh, where can you make... Can't you make this new... You can make this new backpack somewhere here, can't you? But, uh, we can do that later. Alright, that's... Looking good. Looking good. Uh, this is modded. Lightly modded. Got a monarch butterfly. We'll take that. <laughs> Uh, oh. How do I get the key? Hey, chat. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, it's a dog. I thought that was a wolf. How do I get the key to this thing? Is there a quest? I mean, it's a pretty nice place. Um, you know, it's a nice place. Not in here. Paid mods XD. It's in Misk. What's in Misk? Nick's Hound. Not this. No, that's the uh, that's a different mod. Oh, I could teleport him. Oh, there is a quest. The steel, uh, 
Which quest? Gif. Swift is the edge rising at dawn. Oh, it's in miscellaneous. That? Just use console to unlock? No, man. We're, we're a legit player here. Uh, where am I going? Wait, actually, yeah, where, where the hell am I going? I can't see the marker. I always struggle with this. What did it say? Esbern. Where, the, where is Esbern? This is the wrong quest? Wait, oh, the note's on the door? Did I really miss it? Oh, wait, are you kidding? That's not obvious. I don't feel bad about missing that. That's not obvious whatsoever. This is a home and surrounding environment is available for purchase. I have had many cherished adventures in Skyrim, but now I'm afraid I must leave it behind. The war has made it a little difficult on all of us, and I felt that the worst is yet to come. I have entrusted the steward in Dragon's Reach with managing the sale of my homestead. If you're interested, please seek him out. In Dragon's Reach. Okay. Why not just give me the key? That's not obvious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, go download Flower Girls on Nexus. No, thank you. I don't trust you. Do I still have God Mood on? No. Why do I have no stamina? The steward. Right. Oh my god, dude. I might just be a servant to right, shut lords, up. but don't I lost think interest. For a moment. Which one is the steward? Is that a quest or is that just no i don't actually know is it this dude are you the steward again i i don't know much about skyrim divine smile i don't think you're the steward so you wish to master the arcane arts youtube crash did he re did it really no he has no keys so it's not you remember you're back here i feel like this is one of those things that people are going to get pissed that I don't know which one the steward is. I'm going to assume he's on the other side. But I'm not certain. I haven't played Skyrim properly till you. since 2011. You know the whispering lady, don't you? I can tell. Okay, well, we're striking out. Make a move toward Balgra. It seems our enemies have no end of spies. Wait, where the hell is the steward? Old guy by the throne. Us. By the throne? So not at the throne? I assume it's not him. That's the Jarl. That's a girl. That's a boy. Um, hey, he's upstairs? Avenichi? Okay, Avenichi. Am I missing him or is he not here? Might be asking today. Ow. To the left, unless he's sitting. Down here? Check the tables, second floor. I mean, I could just spawn it in. I don't have to speak with him, but could he possibly be in here? Things eyes. The Jarl's quarters. Hello. Oh. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what happened here? He's probably in the Jarl's chambers. I need to wait. Um. I'm not seeing him. Buddy old boy. 
Where did I even just go? What did I get? Alright, well, I'm not, I'm just, I'm going to spawn on the key. I'm not going to entertain, I'm not going to run around looking for this dude. Why is there dead? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why there's a dead person there, man. I, I have no explanation for that one. I mean, I'll just wait. Let's try that. We'll wait for three hours. That's enough time for the steward to return. Oh! No, nope. no, nope. we got some guards now. All right, that looks like progress. Oh, is are you? All this standing around. No. We should be taken to fight to the storm clothes. Um, he's a goner. Yeah, I don't know. Oh well. Destruction magic's fine. Just don't go burning down any buildings. Uh, we'll just spawn in the key. So let's go back to the house. I don't feel like waiting. He's real lazy. And we're going to spawn in this key. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> you know, it's a bark every time I fast travel. Wait, did some of the stuff move? No. Um, so, help key. Zero. Did I? No, wrong button. Um, key M key to. Mercenaries. What is it? Tundra key? Help. Tundra key. Nothing. Uh oh. What is the name of the key? It's normally at the bottom. That's why it's weird. Key to Alks Alks Mercenary Chest. <laughs> it's supposed to, supposed to be so difficult. Oh, maybe help Tundra. Yeah. Key to Tundra Homestead player dot add item 0404 7 E 3 B. Nope, I screwed that up. Uh 7 4 oh, 4 oh, I forgot one. In Fallout 4, you don't need the one. Bam! We did it. Shut up! I kind of love it. <laughs> All right, so uh, it's a house. There's some foliage. Is that part of the mod? Really? There's there's grass growing in the roof. Oh boy. I'm gonna love reviewing this one, huh? Well, everything's interactable, so that's cool. Let's mess it up. <laughs> now I have to hand place everything back if I want it like that. Um, how is this worth three dollars? How is this different than any other home mod? It comes with three beds, hence the three dollars. Wait, seriously, this is literally the same exact thing as every other Eleanor home mod. Got some books? Type unlock. No, man, no one does unlock. Go in third person. All right, we gotta sell. Wait, this is literally it? Like, this is almost sad. This is... How is this? This is like... Like, it's not sad in the sense that it's bad. It's sad in the sense... Like, this is literally exactly the same quality as every other Eleonora mod. She makes good mods. But this... Wait, why are you... <laughs> wait, what? Where am I? Oh. Um, this is the armor. Okay, come on. Move! Oh my god. Um. Are you kidding? Did I screw it up? <laughs> I'm giving you a bad review now. I'm returning this guy. <laughs> Please. Okay, so it has... Oh wait, no, I want the back all right, this is kind of cool. It's a cool little room, but are people going to actually use Like, it's aesthetic, not practical. Like, you know, like, the, how you want to balance between, like, practicality and functionality? This is way m Wait, no. Function- Uh, practicality and- I don't know. 
it, it, it looks really pretty, but it's not very practical. Like, I mean, I guess some people will probably use this, but I'm a practical player. What can I say? Got some wine. Free wine. I don't know about three dollars for this thing though. The age-old struggle. You got finessed. Yeah, see, like, is this any better than any other free Eleanor mod? I'm gonna struggle to say no. Well, actually, I'm not gonna struggle. Like, how would I just don't like? What about this is any better than the free one? How is it not practical? Because you have to walk down there and manually place everything on every- Like, it's just way simpler to put go like this. Hey, look, a chest. Hey, look, I have this cool inventory mod that sorts everything for me. Hey, cool, I have all this excess crap. Let's just throw it all in here. Like, that's way more practical than manually placing everything in. Alright, I mean, uh... I guess let's go look at it from the outside <laughs> I don't, I mean, looks cool. You can tell your friends about it. Post a picture on Instagram or something. Wait, what is that little tower? How do I go up there? Oh, it's just a high ceiling. Um, $3 though? I don't know about that. Thank you for telling me. That it's planted. I appreciate that. Planted some stuff. Yeah, all of Eleanor's stuff has that. That's what I mean. Like, what? How is this any different than any other Eleanor mod? Hey, thanks, sarcastic tongue. I appreciate that. It's a good name, also. All right. So now we need this backpack. How do I make the backpack? Probably not a smelter. It's in a chest. You can't admire it. I guess that's true. All oh, right here. Um, I need leather and ingots, so I'm just gonna spawn this in. Oh, leather zero player dot add it. Oh god. Uh, leather player dot add item. O O O D B five D two. Uh, hundred. Uh, maybe not hundred and fifty. Leather 50 added. And North girl trousers. <laughs> uh, and then Corundum. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but that's okay. Corundum 0. Player dot add item. Miss Corundum ing. Oh god, I just keep doing that. Oh oh. 5 AD 9 3. There you go. Alright, so... Got all the backpacks. Oh, so it's actually different backpacks. Okay. So that's pretty cool. So let me, um... Let me empty my inventory. Right quick. So it's easier. Oh, I actually don't have much. So yeah, let's get rid of that crap. All the stuff I'm not wearing. So I can easily see these backpacks. Alright, so we have the adventure backpack and the adventure backpack with bedroll. Um... We'll go with this one. Dark leather backpack. Fine leather backpack. I don't really like the bedroll. Like, I get it's practical, but I don't like the way it looks. A fur backpack. We'll go bedroll on this one to mix it up. The hunter backpack. That one should have the bedroll. And then just a plain old leather backpack. Oh, and a mage backpack. And then North Girl trousers. A thief backpack. That's probably my favorite, I think. And that's it. Um, okay. Items. So let's favor them all. So we can check them out. And then uh, hit Q. Damn it. There you go. Uh, let's unequip these, this bow also. These arrows, rather. Alright, so let's check these backpacks out. Which way is the sun pointing? This way. Shut up! Oh, this thing's really starting to piss me off now. 
<laughs> but it's like almost in an endearing way. All right. All right, move, dude. It looks pretty good. All right. I would like to stay, but you have to go. It's all right, man. There'll be a video on this stuff tomorrow, or you could watch the live stream. Uh, like the live stream will be uploaded. All right, so these two are very, very similar. What are those? The hunter and the fur. So the hunter backpack's just an addition to the... Like, oh, okay. So I guess that's the same with the adventurer to the leather. You know, the leather's at least a different color, but the, these are literally the exact same thing with some items added on top. And this one has a bit of embroidery. Yeah. So just really those two is, is the cop-out. I mean, it's, they're good looking. What are the features of this? Like, what what does it do for me? Carrying capacity increased, but increases stamina. Just carrying capacity. Okay, so the bedroll increases stamina. Is that it? Oh, okay. I don't like that at all. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No, never mind. Bows do 10% more damage. Leather backpack, nothing. Uh, so the mage backpack. Increases magic up by 20 points. Thief backpack. Lock picking is 15% easier. Alright, so that's pretty cool. I think the thief is still my favorite, though. I just think it looks the coolest. Not uh, really matching my armor, but... Like some other aesthetics. So some of them have features. Some of them don't. So, oh, so is it all the ones with, like, those things on top? So all the ones... Yeah. All the ones that have, like, things. Have uh, added ability. All right, so that's pretty cool. Didn't it say there's 16 combinations? Oh, because everyone has a bedroll, so that is that the 16? I mean, it's cool. Take your armor off. You say so. Let's uh, unequip this. So it kind of floats a bit. Or there's there's no straps, which is weird. I mean, it's cool. Hey, what's up, Ben? Ben Leeson? Is that like a name for a movie or something? I mean, it's cool. How much is this thing? I wrote down all the prices, hold on. This thing is 400 credits, so $4 about. I don't know, the Fallout 4 one is far superior, if you ask me. Like, the Fallout 4 one just, it looked a lot better, I think. It, it looked higher quality, I think. What do you guys think? What do you think in the comments? Write, uh, would you buy this or would you not? Or just, do you give it a yay or a nay? Yay or nay? Yes, no, yay, nay. I don't know about this one. Uh, because I really love the last backpack. I, I, and I think I want to like this one, but I don't. And I'm, I'm it's like, a, I, I wish I liked it. But I don't know. How am I going to, $4 for this? Like, it's a t like this would be a, a something you forget about if it was in one of the DLCs and the DLCs are worth like 10 15 dollars and I get whatever like economies of scale whatever nay we got one nay damn professor feel good you're like way ahead of everyone else uh -oh. um do I have anything Wait, is the Nyx attacking me? No, he's just looking. Nay, nay. We got mostly nays. We got like two yays. That's not good. So. What was with the Nuff Games quest? Like that quest, I mean, it was cool, I guess. It was somewhat memorable. The location was. And if the dragon was part of it, that'd be cool. So we got a lot of nays. So it seems like a lot of people are against it. Um, now we have the camping thing. I don't actually know how you do that, though. Does anyone know? Let me go check on the page, I guess. Because that's the last mod, is just the camping one. I would buy it during a sale. Yeah, I'd buy it during a sale. Like, it's cool, but $4 is a lot of money. I mean, it's not a lot of money, but it's like a good... 
There's a lot of free backpack mods. Yeah, how do I use Alright. Complete with a lean two for sleeping campfire for warmth and so cooking. Forge. Yeah, right? That's all of it. Yeah. Yeah, this thing. I, I don't know. This one I feel like is the biggest ripoff because there's so many good free alternatives. This thing's obnoxious, but I kind of love it. And it's like a weird enjoyment. Shadow Rend, it is what it is. It's cool, you know. The backpack, I don't know. The backpack's a hard sell for me. So now we just have camping. Let's see if we uh we fall in love or if we hate it. I feel like like is it better than all the other camping mods? How about no? What does that mean? It's at the forge. Oh. Yeah, I agree. Four dollars is a lot of money. I mean, see, I don't know. It's like the way I look at it, I'm like, well, I go to Starbucks and I spend five dollars somewhat maybe and that's consumed in two hours where this like if you play skyrim regularly you know is it this or a coffee i if you don't buy coffee obviously that's a different story where, which one's a forge i'm not embarrassing myself right now wait where's a forge all right i'm sorry i don't know what a forge is It's, it's not here. None of these are a forge. I'm getting that. Is it in the house? I assume it's in the house. I'm just gonna Google it because I can't be embarrassed. I don't play a lot of Skyrim. Okay. So now I know what it is. <laughs> right? They, this wasn't it, right? No, there's just the fire pit. It looks like that though. Um, anvil, anvil. Wait, the anvil's a forge? Wait, really? Oh. All right, you know what? I'm, I, we're gonna edit this part out in post. <laughs> Wait, really? This. Ammo. What would it be under? This? Camping supplies. Firewood. Um, can I take that firewood? No. It's aesthetic. Alright, we're, no, we're, we're not talking about what just occurred ever. Uh, I thought there was firewood in there for some reason. Yeah, I haven't. I, well, no. See, like, I played Skyrim when it released. And I haven't, I've actually been meaning to play through Skyrim. Why is there two firewoods? I've been meaning to play through Skyrim for a while now. And like, I want to off camera because I, I try and do live streams and I never follow through with them. I've actually been playing Fallout 4 off camera. Um, I guess we'll make two. All right, so how does this work? Who's this by Chesco? Camping supplies is food, evidently. I'm best to be in trauma alert. Well, in fairness, I'm not really a. Uh, why is camping supplies? But this isn't food. This is like misc. I guess that's. Build a campsite. Found a nice little spot. Good animation. Wait, is that it? Are you kidding? Can I just tell you to rest and stay warm while exploring the wilderness? You can look, you can cook a limited number of meals over the campfire. Your campsite is marked on your map so you can locate it and fast travel to it later. Uh, what was going to say? Yeah, no, I used to play Skyrim. Like, I played through Skyrim a long time ago. I got Skyrim VR. I was thinking about trying to play through all of that, but I will play through. I'm going to be more well versed. Don't worry. Before you three. Wait, so this is it? This is all you could do? There's no customization, or you can sit on this crate, use the campfire. You can't use it while sitting, though. That's <laughs> that costs an extra dollar. And you could cook a limited number. Wait, are you kidding me? This is it? Oh my god. Uh, what are the new things you got for Fallout 4? You got some dogs, and you got a way to change dog meat. That's it. Uh, it's 6 p.m. Let's wait 12 hours. 
Wow. This is it? Oh, so you can't customize it in the slot. You just place it down. And that's it. $3. No, how much was this one? Yeah, no, I think it was $3. Let me check. Yeah, camping. $3. The free mod has significantly more. I got a chicken egg? How'd I get a chicken egg? This is actually pretty. Look, we could sit with our little nicks. Wow, this is so not worth it in the slightest, man. Look at scenic. Me and my Nicks are having a, a moment. Oh, he's 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 loving me or something. He's giving me a kiss. Nice clipping. Yeah, dude. Uh, I want my three dollars back. It's a write-off, right? <laughs> Oh my god. So, alright, well, there's one feature we didn't use. We could break the camp. Uh. Cool. Now I can. Is that a bear? Oh, it's a saber cup. Um. So I can make it again? Wait, so, wait, wait, I lose it? Eh? Wait, can you put down more than one? I don't actually know. I like the idea. <laughs> that was an amazing comment at that time. I like the idea of Creation Club. The execution lacks some. Oh, okay, so it has this little cool little map marker. Um, can I put down a second one? That's what I want to know. Let's go try and make another one. Yeah, I could fast travel there. Maybe, yeah, maybe all these mods have cool features that I didn't know about and didn't unlock yet. Why is this called a forge? Where does it? Why? Like, when, how would I have known that? Um. Wait, wasn't it here? Oh no, it's in food. Oh yeah, you're right. You do create it in food. You don't create it in misc. Why do you create it in food? That makes no sense. Alright, so let's go play. That's a nice place for a camp. So, if I could place two, I mean, is that better? Do I want to be able to place more than one down at a time? Or is that overpowered? I don't actually know. And it's like glitched out. It's in food. Why is it in food? Shouldn't it be in misc? Alright, so I can. Map updated. Oh no, it deleted my other one. It never told me it deleted my... It just deleted it. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Trial and error, bud. Alright. <laughs> so my old... Is it there, I wonder? Or is it... Is, like, the map marker gone or something? So... No. So my other campsite's just gone. Right? Yeah, it was, like, over here somewhere. Alright. And now this one's here. Ooh. That's uh that's interesting. Um is it worth it? No. <laughs> yeah, what the heck, man? I I'm I'm genuinely surprised at how bad this is. Like the house, I thought it would have I I see like I'm not big on house mods. I've never been big on house mods. But I thought the house would have something cool. But, like, it literally is worse than Eleanor's free mods. Like, or not worse, it's on par with Eleanor's free mods. This one just costs money. Like, competitive market, man. Like, there's literally no appeal. Unless you're a PS4 user. And then, for the freaking camping mod, there, again, there's a free mod that does more than this. By the same freaking mod author. By the same guy that made this one. There's a better one that's free. Chesco has a camping mod for free. I'm pretty sure it's Chesco. There's multiple camping mods that are better than this. It does nothing. Look, at least make it so you can customize your camps. The backpack, I don't actually know what kind of backpack mods are for Skyrim. I'm not that well informed. But there's probably something. I mean, the backpack mod's cool, but it's not worth $4. Maybe 2 or 3 The Fallout 4 backpack mod is way higher quality. The weapon, okay, it's kind of cool. If you really wanted this weapon and it's not available, otherwise it has this cool effect on it. 
you have a somewhat interesting experience to get it. You have two variants. All right, whatever. If you have $3 sitting around, maybe... Is it $3 or $2? Yeah, $3. So you have $3 sitting around. Maybe it's worth it. Honestly, the thing I regret the least is this stupid thing. The Nyx Hound for $2. This has been my... <laughs> my pride and joy. The only thing I wasn't massively disappointed with. I guess because there's no room for error. It just looks cool. And it's kind of annoying, but in an endearing way. The weird dog. <laughs> I like how you didn't say it's same. The weird dog. Yeah. The weird dog is... Yeah, I... I what the hell? Damn. Uh, I mean, I guess that backpack, I could see some people liking. I just... I don't... I don't think it's worth the $4. The Nyx Hound, like, haha. It's funny. Like, I like the Mud Crab. The Mud Crab's free right now. And I think it was 50 or 100 Creation Club credits that launched. The Mud Crab was funny and cool. And it was cute just having this little Mud cap Crab following you around. Same thing with the Nyx Hound. Like, it's... Alright, cool. I have a little friend that's gonna take... Come with me on my travels. That looks kind of cool. Like, the campsite thing. Like, I mean, I guess if you're on survival, it's kind of cool. But... Does survival even disable fast travel? I feel like it, it doesn't, right? No, because you could fast travel. All it does... Like, how, look how many locations... Where... What is the longest... You have every location discovered, let's say. Or, like... Like, all the campsite allows you to do is get warm... And fast travel there? I mean, I guess. But, like, there's not that many gaps. Or you can put it here. And then walk 30 seconds here. But you could have fast traveled there anyway. The dog's amazing, dude. Don't don't make fun of the dog. Yeah, I don't know. This uh, leaves a little bit to be desired, if you ask me. Sir, so, oh, does disable fast travel? Does it, though? Are you sure? I thought, I know, I know Fallout 4 does, but I didn't, I thought Skyrim Survival doesn't disable fast travel, which I thought was really weird. I have it. I actually think, actually, I could just try. Yeah, no, it doesn't. <laughs> well, I mean, I just enabled it and it doesn't. This is what we get instead of more mod space on Xbox. I feel like Skyrim's mod space is okay. Five gigabytes is like fair. I think. I don't know. I think all around this was a pretty disappointing bundle. And like it's, uh, you know, I think I'm disappointed because uh, it sounded cool. A lot of the stuff sounded pretty cool. Like the camping mod sounded like, oh yeah, that could be a pretty cool Creation Club release. Like the survival mode. Eight dollars, not worth eight dollars or five hundred credits. All right, maybe it's worth. But the camping mod could have been cool. The backpack mod sounded like it could be cool. And it is cool. It's just not worth the 400 credits. Maybe like 200 I would pay for this. Maybe 250 300 Well, I mean, I, I paid 400 <laughs> but I don't think you should. I think that's going to pretty much wrap it up for this one. Uh, thank you guys for watching, as always. I'm going to try and do more live streams. I'm going to try and get one live stream out a week. Just probably a random thing. So if you want to, you know, you can click the bell icon on my channel. It's probably the best way get alerted you could follow me on twitter that's another way it, all, it, it sends out a tweet whenever i upload a video or live stream but yeah i think one live stream a week's fun i get to interact with you guys more and uh all right bye fiery skull thanks for watching man so uh yeah creation club go buy this dog go buy the the weird dog thing that's the conclusion we have reached don't buy anything else uh hopefully you guys enjoyed as always again thank you for watching i'm gonna have a full video like as a proper overview on all this stuff tomorrow as well as on the Fallout 4 stuff. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. My video card's a 1080. Hope to see you guys all next time. Later.